Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. To radar first, this is our first of four different storm systems that will be moving uh, across the west all the way through the 31st of March, so the very end of March. You can see radar. We've got uh, precip now coming on shore in California, Washington, Oregon, snowing up around Shasta. Eventually, by this uh, this evening and tonight, we're going to have snow in Tahoe and likely down into Mammoth by tomorrow. And then eventually, all of that's going to roll into Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado over the next two or three days. And here are my uh, bullet points. Here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So still looking at four storm systems through 331. So the big totals remain on the board. And you can see the timeline here for snow in the Sierra, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado in the Northeast. I won't go through all those, but uh, needless to say, we've got some, uh, some heavy snow ahead. Okay, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon, give you the lay of the land. So again, on this, your moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues and even the green. So let me grab the red. Uh, here's our storm system I just showed you on radar moving on shore. So eventually that's going to be moving in. Um, there's another storm behind it, another big one behind that, and then there's another one off the satellite. So all four of these will become part of the forecast and they're going to be guided in by a lot of jet energy. And here's the jet stream forecast by close of day. Today you can see the trough and the area of low pressure sliding on shore. Okay, there it is by tomorrow, close of day. Then it moves into Utah, dives through Colorado, Wyoming, and it actually may strengthen into a Colorado area of low pressure by late 324 into 25 and then move out. But on its heels, we've got another storm coming down, uh, the jet dropping through the Intermountain West on 325, 26, kind of keeping the snow going. Um, so there's 326, 25 close a day, there's 26. Here comes another storm system. There it is, diving into the interior, 327, 28. And then another storm. This is storm number four right here on 330 and 331. And that's a pretty sizable, potent storm system right there, the size of that trough. All right, putting precip on top of all of this. So there's 530 today. Here comes our storm on shore. Snow through the Sierra, then it moves into the interior. By the time we get into 324 in the afternoon, we've got widespread snow through Utah, Wyoming, Montana. The storm is building in Colorado, and then it spins up. Initially, there's rain in Denver, but then it goes over to snow that night into Monday morning, and then the low races out. But here comes the next low right on its heels, kind of a smaller storm, larger storm right here. This is storm number three coming in with a pretty good shot of heavy snow, and then here comes number four, and again, that's a pretty potent storm. And that one digs a little bit further to the south, and then you can see it grazes uh, and brushes parts of uh, the front range of Colorado with snow on its way out. All right, here's my latest grand total map. So by late 331, the numbers are still big. In fact, they've gone up in many cases in the Sierra. Now looking at four or five feet of accumulation, maybe even more. Look at Shasta. Um, the numbers in Colorado, um, the San Juan numbers have come back down. They've come back down to reality, but looking at two feet in a lot of places, maybe even three feet over the San Juans. Um, so really big numbers uh, with one to three feet now in Colorado by late 331. Um, up in the Tetons, those numbers have crept back up, looking at two feet or more, uh, anywhere from two to three feet in the Wasatch, big numbers through Bryan Head, and about a foot up in Idaho, and the numbers in Montana through Big Sky have crept back up through Bridger Bowl and Red Lodge. All right, let's look at it by time period. So today through tomorrow, a lot of this happens tomorrow tonight in the Sierra, but then tomorrow through the interior with some light accumulations, anywhere from three to seven in the Wasatch, two to four in the Tetons, one to three in Colorado. Next time frame, 324 through 326, next storm rolls through, and you can see the accumulations up to a foot in the Wasatch, um, pretty much five to 10 for the, uh, the Tetons and six to 12 in Colorado. Okay, the final time period's big. This has the final two storm systems, um, and we're looking at you know three to four feet in the Sierra. Another foot, foot and a half in Colorado, one to two feet in the Wasatch, and potentially up to two feet in the uh, the Teton. So that's a pretty big period. Okay, let's go to the Northeast. So these numbers have come back down just a little bit, but only as a result of that 327, 328 period, that storm looking smaller. So what you see here, the bulk of this comes on 323. That happens tomorrow over the Northeast, that belt of heavy snow through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, parts of New York State looking at potentially two feet around Killington, Okemo, Magic, Sugarbush, uh, Ragged, uh, one to two feet through Mount Washington, Cranmore, and Sunday River Sugarloaf. Okay, so that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in here, and I hope everybody has a great weekend.